So in one of our now what feels like daily trips to Lottimer to buy food for Ian for to make baby food, we found some chunchon that galbi uh, amongst the meat. And not just any chunchon that galbi, but as you can see, a very special 30% off chunchon that galbi. I'm Scottish, you can't resist 30% off. That has a whole lot of that galbi for man one. That galbi bought, let's get some makali. Let's pick up some sausage makali and let's get home and get that, that galbi cooked. Smells it too for the dummy. It's almost time for the taste test. Just before we do, usually like when you buy uh, the galbi and like Emar or Home Plus or something like that, it always comes with like, tons of carrots and lots of vegetables. But this does look like proper chun chun tak galbi, yeah? So chun chun tak galbi is a long tak galbi, it has the bone at the end, yeah? And we're we'll going to try to eat the bones later. But for now, let's try a little bit uh, of the tak galbi. And is it as good as the one I used to eat in heaven, John? Mmm. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Wow, that actually... That actually does taste like um, proper, proper takgalbi, proper chintan takgalbi. Mmm. So basically... It's a little bit spicy. Um, I, as I was saying, when it, you get that galbi in the e-mart and stuff, it, it comes with a like sauce and everything, and it's just it's not really good. But this is actually really, really good. Wow. In, in Korea, places are, this, towns and cities are famous for things, yeah? Look at like John Drew's famous for bibimbap, and like, well, earlier we talked about Jeju, and it's like peanuts, and it's like Deju. And Chuncheon is famous for that galbi. And I think definitely for me, from now on, Lottie Mart should be famous for his chun chun tai galbi because it's pretty amazing. Wow. Yeah. Um, that is pretty incredible. Well, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go, I'm going to get some makali, we're going to, we're going to get a bottle of uh, sauce, uh, sausage which is the local Bupia Martin. It's actually made just up the street from where I live. If you watch the Sochon video, you know that there's a company that makes makali in every area. You, we had the Kwangamun makali, I've had Gong Dok before, there's like Suwon, there's like Songnam, there's also an Incheon makali. So what I'm going to try and do uh, is do another blindfold challenge to see if I actually can tell the difference. I failed miserably when I did it in uh, Sochon. Hopefully I'll get it right this time. But just before I go, there's enough time for this one more piece bit before I go and get the makali. Guys, fantastic. Okay, so now it's time for the blindfold part of today's video. Uh, I'm going to do a blindfold challenge again, like I did in Sochon. Uh, as I said earlier, we have the two maklis. We have the Sochonju makali, we have the Incheon makali, okay? I'm going to hand both bottles over to my lovely assistant. And I'm going to give her the two Makali cups, okay, and when we moved to Bupyong, we actually lost the blindfold, uh, so I'm going to have to improvise, I'm going to have to use a tartan scarf, but I am the silk Scotsman after all, so of course it's tartan, um, and basically, yeah, my assistant's going to pass one cup back uh, over to me, I'm going to drink it, and I'm going to try my best, yet again, to see if the silk Scotsman really does know his soul, yeah? Now, there's a frying pan of that galbi right in front of me, so I need to be a little bit careful I don't burn myself in this one, yeah? Okay, whenever you're ready, yeah? <coughs> okay. 
Okay, so can you do me give the first one? Sweet. Oh wow, that's, a lot. that's pretty sweet. Okay. Um, okay, can you give me the second one? Oh, wow, that was really sweet actually. I think Michael does taste completely different when you have a blindfold on. <laughs> I have to admit. Second. Okay, uh, where is it? Okay. Oh, okay, second one. Here we go. Oh wow, so oh, oh wow, so unlike unlike the uh Kwangamun and Jipyong challenge, there's no comparing those two maclays one hundred percent. Um that first one is really sweet and that second one is a lot more sour. Um so now I know why I confused them in the first place. The first time, the first one I got was a hundred percent was uh Sosongju. Uh, it was really sweet. I didn't know it was that sweet until I, until I had a playful done. And the second one I'm going to say was the was the intro Macaulay. Um So let me have a take take my blindfold off and let me have a look. Did I get it right this time? It was embarrassing last time. Did I get it right this time? And I did. Yes. So this time I did get it right, and actually there was a huge difference. Like um, the first time I did that, I actually thought oh. I could identify GPO. Um, but wow, so some do is. I really is a lot more sweet than I, than I thought it was when I drank it alone. Uh, when you compare it to something else, that definitely is like a huge, a huge difference, yeah? Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Obviously, uh, I'm gonna enjoy today's lunch because um, I'm not gonna waste this amazing Dark Galbi. Because as we said earlier, that one of the things that makes Chun Chun Dark Galbi so good is the fact that you get it on the bone, yeah? So these are really tough to cook. So it's been a little bit of a time. Uh, we, we've been making them, but the best thing about it, as I said, you get to eat the garbage right off the bone. And it is absolutely amazing, yeah? Well, guys, that's almost the end of the video for today. Just before we finish up, sorry, um, as you can see, this bottle was actually the rabbit. So I want to have a shout out to Step Wolf, John Christian, and David McAllister. Guys, the rabbit was your birthday year, Gombe. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. And Slanjava. See you again.